even get into like this video, getting into the 24 hour readathon, I want to say that you guys do not have to watch this video if this annoys you because it annoys me. I'm sick right now, so I'm losing my voice, and if you guys don't want to suffer through listening to this, I completely understand. So you have a free pass to get on out of here, okay? It's okay. No hard feelings. Click out, but if not, it's great to have you here. I basically do these every month, even though this one is not getting posted in July. I did it in July. Usually, the reason that I do 24-hour readathons is one, because it is the most requested video on my channel. You guys eat these up. You guys eat these up, okay? And before last month's, I failed at every single one of them, but then I succeeded. So now the bar is set up here from both you and me. Like, the bar is up here. Right now it's 8.30 and we are about to start this readathon vlog. So usually I also do this because I am trying to get through like the ends of my TBR for the month and today is the 30th. So we're literally reading in the last two days of the month. I don't necessarily like need to like get through. I've read a good amount of books on my TBR that I'm like super happy with. So that's not why I just was like you guys wanted it. So here we are. I don't know. I'm going to start reading Redeemed. This is the fourth and final book in the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. I read the rest of the series this month and this is the last one that I have to get through. We are going to set a timer over hours and start reading. And 53 minutes left. I am doing a check-in because it's been about an hour. I'm on page 114. That's all I've got to say because these aren't for reviews. These are just for the challenge. I have 19 hours and 7 minutes left. So it's been about 4 hours and I finished Redeemed. I'm not going to say any reviews because that's not what this video is about. I already know. I already know what I'm going to do next. I did not plan on reading this this month, but if you guys saw my Amazon unboxing, which if you didn't, <laughs> go check it out. I ordered this and since I finished the fourth and final book in the Dirty Air series and it was my favorite of the series, spoiler alert, we should finish the fourth and final of the Twisted series, which I definitely enjoyed the Dirty Air series way more than the Twisted series. I still enjoyed the Twisted series, so we're going to read Twisted Lies. I've heard that this is a lot of people's favorite book in the series, and we're going to see if it's mine, too. I have a feeling it is. So, let's start. way too much there's currently 14 hours left of this i can't do basic math so let me get out the calculator 22 minus 15 about seven hours like seven hours and 40 no seven hours and 20 minutes in just finished twisted lies and i did start this video and pick the two thickest books that I wanted to read. I'm pretty sure I don't think any of the other books that I'm going to read are this thick. Like this one was like almost 600 pages. Finished this one took me a little bit longer because it's like a 600 page book. I am a little hungry right now so I think I haven't even ate yet today so I think what I'm going to do is make some food 
So I want to say thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Green Chef is a CCLF certified organic company and they offer meals for every single lifestyle like keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean and gluten free. One of my favorite things about Green Chef is how absolutely easy the recipes are to follow. Green Chef makes cooking easy. That way you can spend less time stressing about what you're going to eat and more time enjoying delicious cooked meals. You guys can elevate weeknight dinners with Green Chef's seasonal chef crafted recipes featuring from farm fresh produce and organic sustainably sourced ingredients. And if your family is like mine and everyone at the table loves different things, you can now mix and match as you enjoy of all of your choices of the 24 options in a single week. That way you can experience exactly how eating is with your family with Green Chef. I love Green Chef as someone who is very new to cooking because obviously when you're new to cooking, trying to figure out what to eat, how to eat, and how to make it is very difficult. But I like Green Chef because they give me diverse food options that are very simple to go along and follow with as someone who is very very inexperienced that way I am getting good food in the easiest way possible and not to mention it literally saves me so much time instead of sitting there and wondering what I'm going to eat I can just open up the fridge look at my green chef options and cook them you guys can use my code destiny 135 to get $135 off across five boxes plus free shipping on your first box you guys can go to greenchef.com for more details and now I'm going to show you guys what I made and absolutely loved Okay guys, this was me unboxing my Green Chef box, one of the best feelings. I was literally so hungry looking forward to this. I decided to pick the chicken with spicy apricot pan sauce. This is the gluten-free menu because, you know, hot girls have stomach issues, so your babe has to go gluten-free. Had to look over the instructions, and then I was going in, chopped up some broccoli, seasoned that. I was cooking the chicken. Like, I was doing it full out, guys. Like, I was going Queen Chef Des with all of this. It was super easy. I loved it so much because the instructions were so easy to follow along with and stuff like this. Like this sauce, I would have never made this sauce if it wasn't for Green Chef. It has me stepping out of my comfort zone and loving every minute of it. I finished the dish. This was the most important part, which was the taste test. So, you know, your girl had to go all in my own handcrafted meal that I made from the Green Chef box. And let me just tell you guys, it was so worth it. I love eating simple meals like this. They are my absolute fave. Me and my mom love these and I loved it. It was so, so good. So make sure you guys check out Green Chef to get you a box like this. I'm sorry. What's good? I'm sorry. What's good? I'm sorry. What's good? Sorry. Um, anyway, we're seven hours in, two books completed. I feel like we're doing so good. Okay. So here's the thing what book do i choose next so what i think i want to do is pull out the books that i do want to read first of all we have perfect addiction oh my god guys i got the paperback of in the movies if you guys watched my pulling an all-nighter video from like two months ago i talked about in that video how i wanted this book so bad but i wanted to wait until the paperback came out I got it, but I don't want to read it right now. That is going to be saved for another time. Then we have Dear Ava, Ghosted, Hunting Adeline, or Binding 13. What do I choose? So, Binding 13 is a part of like a series. I have both books. But it's just so thick and the font is so small that I don't think I can do that. I feel like it's really between Dear Ava and Perfect Addiction. But the thing is, is that this is what's super cool and fun. I have actually read Perfect Addiction before. Literally, the TikTok algorithm never fails for me because I read this on Wattpad years ago. Like I was in high school. I think I might've been like a freshman or a sophomore. But the thing is, is that this author popped up on my TikTok for you page. That was accident. That was accidental British. I'm telling you. Anyway, popped up my uh, TikTok for you page. And I was like, hmm, that sounds super familiar to a book that I know I read on Wattpad. And then I went to the comments, started scrolling and they were like, oh my God, I remember reading this book on Wattpad and I loved it. And I was like, 
Me too. And so I actually, this actually just got delivered yesterday because as soon as I saw that TikTok, I opened Amazon and I was like, you're coming home with me. I do think that I want to read this because I want to reread it and see what like 15, 16 year old Destiny is getting down with. Right now it's five o'clock. It's been about eight hours. Let's read my perfect addiction, not my garbage addiction. Perfect addiction, period. Let's go read in my freaking cozy reading corner by the time this video is up. That means that my official room tour is out. Guys, I've been working on this for so long. You guys are probably have already watched the whole entire video. If you haven't, go watch that video because this whole entire room transformation took place in that video and I am loving it. I'm loving spending time in my room. I'm about to go sit in my reading corner, start this book. started this at 5 30 two hours finished it how many pages was this like 440 pages finished it in two hours i it's funny because pop had books for some reason have such a big indent in my brain i remember them so clearly because it's such a big impact on my life so Anytime that I remember a Wattpad book that I read, I always buy them. I haven't bought Chasing Red. I need to buy Chasing Red because I used to, I loved that book when it was on Wattpad. Like, I reread and reread and reread that book. The question is, what do we do next? It's only 7.30, guys, and I finished three books. Ooh, who am I? Dear Eva, I got a cartoon cover. There's actually a different cover with a male on it. We're gonna start this one. This one's kind of short. It's like 300 pages. But let's see. I'm gonna check in with you guys when we hit that 12 hour mark to see how far I am into that. That's like an hour. So, an hour from now. Okay, guys, it's actually two hours later. It's 9 30 right now. Like, it's exactly two hours later. I am 100 pages in to Dear Ava, and I kid you not, 100 pages in, and we're still on the first day. We're still on the first day. I understand his background information, but I like read the first 20 pages and then I had to take a break because I just was like not vibing with it in my head. I was like, I need to take a step away from this and then I'm going to come back to it, read it, and if I'm not vibing with it then, then I'm going to read different book. But I, since I'm 100 pages in, I'm like, there's only 300 pages in the book and I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. Uh, I still have no voice. This is amazing. This is going to be so annoying to edit. Ah, I love my life. Okay, guys, it is 1.30. I don't know how I keep on getting the camera and recording and like when it's like 7.30, 8.30, 9.30. Like, it's literally 1.30. Like, I'm talking about it's in the 30s. Okay, it's not exactly 1.30, but anyway, I finished Dear, okay? Finished Dear Ava. This one took me so long even though this is a shorter book because this one just wasn't catching my attention span and i don't want to say that it's solely based on the book because once i actually sat down and read the last like 60 percent of it because the first like 40 percent i would read some put it down like watch my tv and then oh wait i was supposed to be reading this okay let me pick it back up you know i don't know if it's just because i read three other romance books so i was like oh, i don't really want like all of them are starting to kind of feel the same or whatever but this one just wasn't catching my attention we are in the ams okay we're in the ams and i'm dedicated i am dedicated so i have my trusty sidekick so I have a Red Bull. I got the smallest size, so they come in like this small size. I think the regular ones are like this big, and then they sell like tall boys of uh, Red Bulls. But I got the Strawberry Apricot. This is like the summer edition. I haven't tried it yet. I always try different ones. 
I can't even open the freaking cap. Ow, why is this hurting me? Just can't open it. Simply cannot open it. Why is this legitimately hurting me? There we go. Okay, smell test. Doesn't smell terrible, but I have a feeling that I'm not gonna like it. I don't like Red Bulls anyway. I don't like energy drinks because they scare me to death because of my mom. My mom has instilled in my brain that energy drinks will kill me. Two, I don't like carbonated water. Hate it actually. I really don't like carbonated things. Let's see. I mean, it's not terrible. When did this video turn into a Red Bull review? Here's my dilemma. I said that I'm in this point and this happened to me last video as well. I'm in the groove, you know, like I feel like honestly the first three books I was doing very good. Got to this one, fell off a little bit like with motivation to read it. And I feel like it's because you're reading all of these romance books. Like it would be the same if I was just reading all thrillers or all fantasy. Like I feel like I'd be like, okay, they're all starting to kind of feel the same. So that's my dilemma. I feel like I need to switch up the type of book that I'm reading. I don't know what it is about this video and what it is about me buying Wattpad books and just wanting to reread them but I think this is what I want to do and maybe we'll pick up like a thriller or something for our last book because I feel like I could finish this book by like 4 a.m. at least and then we maybe could finish another book and if we did that that'd be six books. That's crazy. Let's get to reading. Hello guys, so obviously it's hours and hours later. I definitely fell asleep, so let me explain. I stayed up until like 3 o'clock in the morning, like I wasn't recording anything and I was just reading my book and I was staying up and then for some reason like I was just really like struggling, struggling, struggling to stay up and then I don't know why I started having the worst anxiety like i started being like oh my god getting so paranoid like that someone was gonna break in my house like it was just bad and i was like you know what you need to go to bed and so i did so technically i failed technically i failed but you know what i don't look at it that way because i literally finished four books in the span of like 18 hours of the challenge so that counts as a w for me i don't know if it counts as a w for you guys maybe not oh well i'm so delirious right now this video i don't even know we'll try again we'll try again in august and hopefully do it whatever i don't sound like this and i don't feel like this hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video somehow if you guys did go ahead and hit that subscribe and all the youtube stuff that you guys know how to do and i want to say thank you again so much to green chat for sponsoring today's video and with all of that being said i will see you guys when i see you